My name is Shannon. I want to talk a little bit about a project I did for the Electronics Engineering Technology Program at ECPI University. This is actually my capstone project uh, using a Fox 11 trainer board, which is a microcontroller. It uses a 68HC11 processor. It comes with an LED. Or I should say an LCD. Some LEDs, dip switches, has a keypad, nice little breadboard, which I have actually put some stuff on here. So what I've made is a drag racing timing system, and it's got three modes, regular racing, bracket racing, and pro tree mode. So I will show you those. The first mode is regular racing. This is just heads up racing, so I hit one. What it checks for is to make sure all my sensors are not tripped, and then once that is true, it tells me I can stage and begin. So I can do this with the dip switches or my sensors. I'm going to use the dip switches the first time. This is what I call manual mode. And as I flip these sensors, uh, you'll see that they're mirrored on the LEDs. Just to let you know what sensors are tripped if, in case you need to fix them. So as I hit the second one, the time sequence will begin. And then the race has begun. So I can also use the three and four dip switches to stand for the finish of lane one and two. So if I hit this, I'll get a win sequence, 10.4 seconds. Now I've only set this to run for 20 seconds, so after that you'll get a timeout message saying that no one won. And to race faster. So after you race, you get a chance to race again. So now I'm going to do bracket mode. What this lets me do is put in a offset for lane one in case you know the two races are uh, of different speeds and we'll have a more even race. I can uh, delay this for up to 19 seconds. So I'll do 5.9 seconds. So as you can see, the LEDs are on, telling me these sensors are tripped. So I will untrip them. And I'm going to use the photo detectors this time. These are just photo detecting diodes. Uh, VCC for this board is 5 volts. These use 1.2 volts at 1 milliamp, which is why I have them in series with 3.9 kilo ohm resistors so they don't get too hot. And you'll see as I cover them up, the sensor lights will come on. When I cover up the second one, you'll see on the right hand side, lane two will begin with two lights in the middle and then four lights total showing that that lane can go. 5.9 seconds later, lane two will begin, sorry, lane one will begin with the same sequence now, if lane one begins before their countdown time, they will break out of the bracket and lane one, two will automatically win. So now that the race has begun, I can cover up the third sensor and we'll get a victory message. Race one more time. I'll show you pro tree mode, which is just a different, it's also heads up racing, but it's a different abbreviated starting system. So as you can see, you got my sensors covered. Now that's ready. When I cover up that, it will begin. Bam. Now the race has begun. I can cover up this guy again. And lean. One wins in 5.1 seconds. So that is a quick overview of my project. It's kind of fun to make. I got the program in assembly and interface some components. So at the end, I will let the program speak for me. Let's hope you enjoyed this short presentation.